So tell us a little bit about the uh, four-step procedure that you reported in the literature. So the rapid four-step technique was designed at the UC Davis residency program by myself, Dr. Brofeld, Dr. Richards, who was published in Academic Emergency Medicine in 96. So one of the things I want to emphasize with the rapid four-step technique, that when you're standing on the patient's left and you got that tracheal hook there, you're lifting with your left hand and putting the tube in with your right, just like intubating with the blade. Whereas you can't do that when you're on this side unless you're left-handed. So Andy, go over your equipment again. What do you got now? So for the open cricothyroidotomy technique, we need a scalpel to make our skin incision, tracheal hook to grab the caudal end of the open trachea, trousseau dilator to dilate the trachea enough so that we can pass a bougie into the caudal opening, and over the bougie we're going to pass the uh, shiloh trachea. Okay. So first we'll start by identifying our landmarks by palpating. Uh, starting from the top down is usually easier, and you can feel for the thyroid cartilage first. So once you've got thyroid cartilage, next bump distal to that is going to be cricoid, and in between will be your cricothyroid membrane, which I feel is about right here. So a disclaimer is the on a cadaver, everything is a whole lot stiffer, and um, so it's a little bit less yeah. easy to uh, palpate. So once we've identified our membrane, we'll take our scalpel, point downwards. And what size scalpel? This is a 10. And it's better to use a 10 or a 20, which is a large curved blade, as opposed to 11, which would not be optimal. And 15 would also probably be too small. So then we'll pierce straight down into where we palpated the cricothyroid membrane. And I've lost resistance there, so I'm pretty sure that I'm in the I would make trachea. it somewhat larger in this cadaver just yeah. because you can't really dilate the tissue as effectively. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got, then we, with the knife in place, we'll take our tracheal hook, slide it along, and grab up on the trachea. Are you confident you have all of those tissues? Yeah. I can think from the inside of the trachea up to the skin. Okay. Yep. You got it then. Slide the knife out, get our trousseau dilator, put it inside, dilate up. Make our opening a little bigger. So your trachea hook is going caudal. It's not caudal. The, the tip Which is curved. Is the opposite of the, the tip is curved this way. Technique right here, where you grab the upper part and put in, but then you can dissect into subcutaneous tissues there, and people do that, and then they bag, and the whole neck blows up like a Michelin man, and you lose all your anatomic lamp. So now we've dilated, and we can see our opening really well. We'll go ahead and pass our bougie in. Sorry. Camera's taking the beat. And then with the bougie in place, we'll take our shyly. Probably move, take your hook out. At that that's point. it. Yeah. Yeah, so we can go ahead and remove our hook. Once you're confident the bougie is Yeah, because the bougie in. passed clearly and easily. So probably in the trachea. Definitely. Definitely in the trachea. Nothing else that will do that. Confidence. Right there. Hey, well, uh, that was a slick maneuver. Yeah,